In this video, we will learn how to find an inverse matrix. There are three methods to find the inverse matrix. The first one is we can use the adjoint method. The second one, we can use the elementary row operation. And the third one, we can use a properties of matrices. In this video, we will only focusing on how to use adjoint method to find a 2 by 2 inverse matrix only. Let's say we have a matrix A with the element A, B, C, D. So to find the inverse for 2 by 2 matrix, we can use this formula. So the A inverse or the inverse of A is 1 over A times D minus B times C. Or this is just a 1 over the determinant of matrix A. And then this value multiplied with, okay, we take the matrix A and then we switch uh, the element A and D. And then for the element B and C, we change the signs, all right? So the 1 over determinant multiplied with this matrix. So we have the formula. So the formula for 2 by 2 matrix adjoint method is 1 over AD minus BC and multiply with the matrix with the element D negative B negative C A. Or this is just when we swap the A and D elements and we change the signs for B and C. So you need to remember this formula because the formula is not given in the exam. So let's take a look some example. All right, so the first example, okay, find the inverse matrix for matrix A with the element 3154 by using adjoint methods. All right, so for doing this, we need to use the formula. So the formula is 1 over AD minus BC times that matrix. All right, so we just plug in the corresponding value into this formula. So if we didn't remember, we can mark the matrix A with A, B, C, D, which one is A, which one is B, C, and D. Okay, so for the first one, we can substitute A. So A is 3, and D is 4, B is 1, and C is 5. And then for A and D, okay, we need to switch the place. So we get... 4 is which place with 3. Alright, and then the element for B and C, we change the signs. So since B is 1 and, and C is 5, so we change it to negative 1 and negative 5. Easy, right? Alright, so we can simplify this. First, we need to multiply the 1 over determinant. So we calculate the determinant. So 3 times 4 is 12. Uh, 1 times 5 is 5, so 12 minus 5 is 7, so we have 1 over 7 here. And don't forget, for the inverse, we need to multiply the scalar into each the element. So we cannot let the fraction outside the matrix, so we need to multiply in. So we multiply every element with 1 over 7, or just we, or we just uh, divide by 7. Alright, so this is the inverse for matrix A. So this is the answer. Alright, the second example. Okay, find the inverse matrix for matrix A with the element negative 4, 6, negative 2, 7 by using adjoint method. Alright, so for this question, it's just the same. First, from the matrix A. And then we need to plug in into the, the formula. Okay, so we just plug in the element for A, B, C, and D into the formula. It's very easy. Alright, so the first one we substitute for A. A is negative 4. And D is 7. Uh, B, 6. And C, negative 2. And also for the matrix, for element A and D, we switch we switch place so 7 and negative 4 is switch the place right and b and c we change the signs 
So B is become negative 6 and C become negative of negative 2. Alright, so negative 4 times 7 is negative 28 and 6 times negative 2 is just negative 12. So negative of negative 12 minus the negative 12 is just a positive or plus 12. So negative 28 plus 12 is negative 16. And for the matrix, negative negative 2 is just positive 2. And remember to multiply each element with 1 over negative 16. So we divide each element with negative 16 and then we simplify. Alright, so this become 3 over 8 and this become 1 negative 1 over 8 and this one become positive 1 over 4. So this is the answer. So remember if we want to find the inverse matrix for 2 by 2 matrix, we just use the formula. Okay, so we're going to continue at next video. Thank you.